Hello, my name's Austin Jarrett, and today I want to talk to you about the Alex Buckingham cylinder mower. We've designed the Alex Buckingham to produce the finest quality lawns with the very strongest striping. The type of customer that buys this product is very serious about their lawn, generally has a large lawn, and they might even be semi-professional landscapers or in a parks department. But the machine is built uh, very well and very strongly. There's a lot of steel in this. It gives it a substantial amount of weight, which is really one of the main contributing factors to providing a very strong light green and dark green stripe. We make the Alec Buckingham in three widths. This is the smallest of the three. It's a 20 inch wide mower, which is ideal if you have small and intricate areas to work with and your lawn isn't a very large area. The 24 inch is the next size up and we do a very large 30 inch wide machine which is certainly for much larger areas where you don't have a lot of turning to do. One important thing about your choice of width is how big your lawn is, not just from how long it takes you to mow the lawn but more from how the stripes sit and how the stripes look on your lawn. So choose a mower that is too narrow on a large lawn and instead of looking like stripes, it will look like corduroy, which isn't quite so attractive. So choose the right width of machine so that, so that the stripes sit nicely on the lawn. When we talk about a cylinder mower, it is this part here that is referred to as the cutting cylinder. Now, the way a cylinder works is it's very kind to the blade of grass. A cylinder mower cuts like a pair of scissors. You've got a rotating spiral shaped blade that you see here, and then underneath it, down at the height of cut, is a stationary blade. The two blades rotate very closely to each other, and what that does is clip the grass and then discharge it to the front into the grass box. What this does is it's the healthiest cut you can give to a blade of grass and also every blade of grass over the whole width is treated in the same way. Normal rotary mowers, which we consider to be grass cutters rather than lawn mowers, you rely on a very sharp blade which rotates in a horizontal plane and really just chops at the blades of grass. As that blade gets more blunt, then what it does is leave the ragged edge on the top of the blade of grass, which often you see going brown. And a cylinder mower won't give you that type of effect. So you'll end up with a much healthier lawn. The other thing that the cylinder does is because it's just cutting across the width in front of the blade, then you are able to cut much lower. So if you want a lawn which is much finer, or if you're playing small ball sports like a golf putting green, or a croquet lawn, you want a lower height of cut and a cylinder is the only way to mow with a lower height of cut. So for instance, if you've ever seen a golf green, a golf green is only ever mown with a cylinder mower because of its ability to be able to give it an even finish uh, and mow particularly low. The Alec Buckingham is able to mow as low as five millimeters and as high as 35 millimeters. So that in, uh, in Imperial is quarter of an inch high through to an inch and three eighths high. Uh, the very low heights of cut, of course, are not particularly healthy for a really good lawn that looks green and lush. And we suggest a height of at least 20 millimeters to 25 millimeters. That would be three quarters of an inch to an inch high. The height of cut is easily adjusted on this knob here. You do just need a spanner to release it and then you turn the knob and this lifts and lowers the front roller and so changes the height of the bottom blade and the cutting height. This machine has a five bladed reel and so that gives us about 78 clips in every meter. So if you can imagine each one of those blades is cutting in a very short distance to give us a very fine and even finish across the whole width of the machine. After the front roller has rolled the grass down what we do is rake it and there's an adjustable rake just behind the front roller. 
This serves to stand the grass upright and also removes any loose debris, including things like moss, uh, before the cutting cylinder then cuts and picks up the material and puts it into the grass box. The Alec Buckingham mower uses a large plastic grass box, which is extremely robust and durable. We use plastic because the paint colour stays on throughout the life of the product and also it doesn't get dented when you do accidentally bump into that rockery. Uh, the grass box sits very simply and easily to the front of the machine and sits just in front of the cylinder and collects all the grass clippings. So one of the secrets of really strong striping are the rollers of the machine. So our cylinder mowers use a roller at the front and the machine is actually driven by a roller to the back. So you can see here we have a large diameter roller, it's steel and it's rubber coated with traction grips as well. Uh, that's particularly important on wet grass or when you're using this machine on banks and the grass gets slippy. This roller is driven by a Honda engine. This Honda engine is the GX200 model and that's a 200cc engine. This has bags of power to drive this mower and actually drives a 30 inch version as well. The Honda engines are known for their reliability and they're also known for their first pull starting capabilities. The mower is controlled from the handlebars and I can adjust the height of the handlebars on this model by loosening the locking knob and adjusting the handlebars to where I need. From here I have my throttle control and also the control for the rear roller and the blade drive and I simply engage that by moving this locking knob forward and lifting the handlebars. The clip rate of the machine and the quality of mowing remains the same with this machine no matter how fast you're going. You can also add the optional trailing seat to your Alec Buckingham. This trailing seat is available for all three models but it's particularly useful for the 30 inch machine where you've chosen this for a large area and that would mean a lot of walking. So by adding the trailing seat to the machine you really do save a lot of shoe leather. I hope you found this short video useful. Um, remember, if you want to buy an Alec Buckingham, it's because you want really strong stripes, a healthy lawn, uh, and this will give you years of service. You can buy an Alec Buckingham from your local garden machinery dealer who will service the product for you as well throughout its long life. And you can find out more about Alec Mowers and our company at www.alec.com dot co dot uk thanks for listening